Wholeness and Balance Vibrations family. I trust you well. Vibing and resonance at top speeds. I'm your brother, Cody Saru. The reflection of you. And just to come to share a bit from the now, from a bill we just got of it, uh, out of in uh, Secret Energy Tribe. I'm not sure if I'm just putting put this in the uh, Tribe Ambassador Mentor chat or just upload it, you know, to one of the other platforms. But I had to share. You know, you got to share when it's in resonance. And uh, so it's most prime, you know. If you take a breath and give the mind a chance to, or give self a chance to wrangle the mind and you know, put it in its proper place. So I give thanks for the ears. And I hope that I come through clear in the best way possible so I can deliver exactly what's on the heart and aid in the transmutation and transition upward in all spectrums toward ascension. The mind is so easily titillated, you know, and they could take you so many different places you didn't even realize you were <laughs> that it's been going or realize no when it actually started. So in a space where I'm sure many of us, more many of you, we, I, you tired of the cycles, you know? Over and over and over and over and over the cycles. Um seeing the reality play out in a number of different ways in a number of, of different spectrums, dimensions, because you can see the the micros of the macro and, and vice versa. And you can see the game being played from the uh, detached observer. And just being in this space, being in this body, being animated in this thing, your character, you know, and allowing yourself to step out and be the detached observer is how you understand the game. You see what's being played. You understand your role or you determine what role you want to play within the progression, you know? And I'm even saying role because the language has so many you know, layers of, uh, what the word is, uh, my bro, uh, lexicon, you know, that kind of hint to you, you know, what's up, you know, so your role, your sphere, your circle, you know, role, sphere, everything's a spherical, everything is curved, nothing is a straight line, so identifying the flow of the waves that, things that used to be known, you know, where that which passed down from generation to generation, some even inherited different abilities to see what's behind the veil, what's really going on. One must be at the guard, always, I said, noble protector, never a warrior, not a, not, not a warrior, but come into the space where you understand your space and your power and no one can take your joy because that comes from inside right and only you have the key have the keys to go inside let me say that again only you have the keys to go inside and there are many doors many spaces inside that these keys kind of morph and go into based on your awareness and knowledge of self and the abilities to get into these spaces and the fuel to get into these spaces because we understand that everything you put in here is not good for the propulsion of this particular this type of vehicle we can even know, go in to say that we know that this body is a uh, is a
refinery of life. You know, we eat things in different ref different refractions of life. We talk about being uh, immortal. You know, the sun, massive. For one example, massive. The sun's light will go off eternally, not stopping, going, 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 and that. So within the, we you know the the rib unit. So the fruit has a microcosm of the whole. So you can you get a seed, and it's from this tree or from this plant, mango seed. Boom. It, that seed has the, the potential of growing an entire mango tree. You follow me? So as the sun sprays against the cosmo, out in the cosmos and in all directions, we know there are multiple suns, multiple planets, multiple things, but particularly our sun that we witness, we, we see, comes to earth, you know, hits a leaf, experience life, in its infinite wisdom as a leaf, as a tree, as a fruit. And then as us, you know, we communicate with the sun as well and many other things as well. But then we eat that thing and we distill. We don't, we all defecate, we take, we shit, you know, shit is real. <laughs> Everything that you defecate, that, is, uh, that comes out, your body could not use. It could not break it down to pull the fibers and minerals and and uh, proteins, everything it needed to pull, it did it <laughs> in the best way possible, based on your um, your fac your faculties within your body's ability to actually you know do those things based on your your health and your optimal functioning. These not lose track. Your body takes this light, takes this, and then we use it for fuel. You know, uh, we even get, you know, some people even with the dead or didn't some out of food, meat, meats, we say. The chicken, chicken eats, cow eats all these plants, all these greens, four stomachs, and then people eat the cow. So again, you're still getting secondhand, secondhand light. You know, so they used it for this food and you ate, you know that. So identifying what is best needed for your particular experience and the fuel you need to propel you in the spaces that you want to go internal. You feel me? Because we are light bodies. We have several chakras, minor chakras, middle chakras in your body. And we have, you know, the, but actually not straight up, but, you know, they're probably in the probably in the five pattern, right? Because <laughs> everything else is within this dimension is in that pattern. And having that knowledge to know how to move through this space, because we're time traveling. We're talking in time right now. When I made this video, you weren't here, but we get to share this moment in time, wherever you are, and you get to tap into this message. So I give thanks for the resonance because we family, and the only way we can even talk this way because we're in resonance, we're in harmony. So I give thanks. This experience we call life has shown me a number of things through different reflect reflections of me as I'm a reflection of you to understand more about the reality and what it is here that makes life sustainable or best practice. So what are some things that work? You know, I used to do some sessions, uh, I think last year, I started what work sessions. You know, people getting together and talking about what works for you, you know, in, in your path to sovereignty and what's working. And as we see within our ancestry, 
we're all family. The farthest you can be apart from somebody is like 60th cousins. So what's up, cuz? There's no separation. That's only the illusion that <laughs> placates reality. Talking about a race, we're we racing. <laughs> you know, we all part of the same. <laughs> so you'll always win. No need to race. You know, take your time, take a breath. Truth is a frequency. Truth is hard to come by. True knowledge is hard to come by. Because you got all these layers of you know, little lies. Well, I changed this point because I felt this way. And, you know, you change this part to, because the political arm of the, the lower feudal lord said, I have to write it like this. I've been commissioned to draw this. You know, even though I. This wasn't like this as an artist. I, this is my likely, this is how I live, this is how I eat, this is how I feed my family, this is how I get through, this is how I, I won't get executed. <laughs> I have to do it this way. So you have a lot of things that didn't make it through when it comes to true knowledge. You got so many religions that kind of attest to that. Like everybody says, this is the, the right way, this is the true way. You know, this is the, the one way, you know. <laughs> when the only one way has always been, you know, the way in, inward. And this path of going inward has a particular order that any master will tell you. There's orders to this thing, you know, there's layers to this shit, you know? <laughs> and coming in raw form family it's just, as this comes through because again wrangling the mind whew, it's definitely one of those things that you have to you have to do you know to make it through make it through to you and the inner you you transform it into the greater you the, the true you you know and um, the union of you, yogi, shout out to the yogis, one that knows thyself. And these practices have been, this, this path, this knowledge, this wisdom, I have found with some amazing, amazing beings. I can't even say just like average people or, you know, this is definitely word, supreme beings. And this has been found within Secret Energy. For all those who have not heard of Secret Energy and you happen to come through this message, I give thanks for the resonance. And you got to check out the link in the bio if this is on, you know, one of those pages. But definitely check out secretenergy.com. And my brother, Dean of secretenergy.com, Savan Bomar. And we got hella amazing pillars, senior soul coaches, um, pillars in the community who have brought forth, you know, archives of knowledge from inner, inside, records, you know, Akashic records, you know, diving deep, brothers going into breaking down the veil within the dream space, bringing in toe technology, my brother Sven. We got my sister bringing in things from the womb, you know, holding space with uh, Sister Widgeby. We got uh, Sister, Sister Gail coming in with the, her force, you know, bringing economic uh, uh, harmonies, you know, that expands far past the, the dollar, you know. Uh, we got so many. <laughs> My brother Alistair coming in from the heart space, always coming from the land down under out there in Australia. We got... Um, my sister Neva, who got so many jewels from so many different spaces that she pulls from within the Vedic texts, within um, different principles. So many, all everybody I name has so many, and so many more. Not to the unnamed, like don't charge it to my heart. They say charge it, charge it to my head, not my heart. But there are so many different beings, you know here showing up for self but also externalizing this thing because we want you to know that this is 
prime knowledge that you have the opportunity to grab a hand, you know, and we walk with you here, share our experiences. That's the only reason we come out and and and, and experience and, and even make this video here. To let you know that we got you. Feel the resonance here the voice and check it out if you have it you no know, check out the link down below we got the first conscious social media network in the world you know people from all cultures languages uh backgrounds experiences are all here all hues how beautiful parts of the rainbow you know, full spectrum beings coming in here. Not in a space of judgment, in a space of warmth. We come here to work together. We came here to shine. And we let you know that, hey, it ain't gonna come a time that we all leave here and go on to the next adventure. Yes, yes, give thanks. Just like the sun, we're immortal, eternal. We, we keep flowing. It's the only reason you look like your great, 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 we are supreme beings. And though we didn't come with a supreme manual, you know, that was brought to us when we came into the space, where we could just pick up and read through, you know, we had to go through a lot of distortions, a lot of, um, let's say it another world, you know, if you didn't have some amazing guardians as in uh, your parents, you know, to guide you through these spaces. And even then, we is having fights and battles within this experience coming into earth into this dimension is inevitable it's been written it's been written we it's you fight multi, a multitude of battles i think my bro my bro read that in, from um one of the um bhagavad gita bhagavad gita uh, books uh volume one or two you know and biological mental physical like uh astrological like we have we are going to go through these things, you know? Another example is brought forth by you won the battle. Let's say won the battle when you made it here, being, you know, one of the lights from the spark of your father going into your mother and illuminating one of those eggs and then transmuting through these spaces. We, we, there were millions, you know, that came through that, boom. So this space is prime for war, prime for antiphonal uh, hero, villain, right, left, uh, up, down, you know, this, this, this back and forth, pistons pumping, that's how this thing keeps going, going and going, remember the Energizer Bunny? Do, 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 it keeps going, keeps pounding you from pole to pole. And a poem, my favorite poem, it says, um, <laughs> I even have another awareness with that now, we have um, called Invictus, and it started by when I was pledging another battle you know coming through the spaces where it started off by saying out of the darkness that covers me dark as the pit from pole to pole that right there it's coming from the womb <laughs> you know out of the darkness that covers me black as the pit from pole to pole there's no light in there you know and then it goes on to say, I think whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. And with the trigger word of God being there, I think whatever supreme may be, you change the vernacular, for my unconquerable soul. Unconquerable. You know, I'm immortal. You know, I've, it's, I've, I've been here and I'll do it again. <laughs> so, coming through these spaces, you've been doing this. Why? <laughs> Why? Why do you choose to come back 
again and again and again and again 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 it's a dance is it it's the ups and downs maybe you maybe you like the fight you like the challenge but obviously you didn't master it it think ego was I you didn't master it if you say you've been here before you didn't master it simple you're here again this is the university this is the universe you know, we have lessons, of course. <laughs> so as we make it through these courses, we gain a little bit more wisdom. We graduate to ascension, ascending places within ourselves. This time, we have another amazing opportunity to connect to something that's real. Knowledge that is prime, that will give you exactly what will align your path and erect the spine as that kundalini rise to the uh, medubla blangada connected to the supremum brachium back here give thanks to the supreme and really place you back into the ship the seat of the soul into the pineal right there in the center where all the strength has always been. Any martial arts would tell you that. You know, any yogi would tell you, hey, the center, right there, find your center, find your space, even your lungs. Though dualistic in nature, they still give you a little curve that boom, it comes right here as you fill up. So family, I'm out to connect you with you in the space. I'm about to go connect to another space <laughs> in the South Bad Vibe. Go into uh, the Astro and do my best to collect myself there so I can project myself here in a better, more refined way, more divine way, and be able to connect with you on the other side of the day. So I give thank in the most thanks in the most beautiful way wholeness and balance vibrations i honor you and your manifestations i'm your brother curtis aru also known as the frequency maestro too as i do my best to find harmony with you until we can meet in the physical family and if we ever do the rawness will always be here and i'll always be with you as a reflection i give thanks key vibe and a resonance at top speed.